Hello, guys. How's it going? How's it going, Vaughn? Um, I'm doing pretty good. What's it like having Trent Brown on the right side of the Raiders line now? What challenges does that uh, present for opposing teams, and what's it going to be like to go against them for two times a year now? Uh, he's, he's he's one of the best. Uh, he's one of the best tacklers in the game. It don't matter if it's right or left. Um, I've been a, I've been a huge fan of uh, of Trent for a long time. I, I love the guy. He can tell. He, he knows how much I love him. You know, it's uh, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a tough uh, it's gonna be a tough challenge. He's one of the best. He's tall. He's big. He's quick. Um, they definitely uh, got better in the offensive line in the offensive line room with Trent Brown over there. Has he been to your uh, quarterback camps before? And um, if so, what kind of feedback do you get when you have offensive linemen there? Oh yeah, I mean he's been to my uh, pass rush. I, mean, I wish it was a uh, quarterback. Sorry. Yeah. quarterback but, no, but um, yeah, he's a. Uh, He's my favorite. He's been my favorite tackle for a long time, and um, you know I, I just wanted his input on how he sees the game. We didn't really go over like you know schemes or what moves. You know, we didn't really go into that, you know, because we play each other you know two times a year. But he definitely gave you know helpful information on what to look for when it comes to facing other offensive tackles, and I definitely gave him information too on what's like facing good pass rushes. But Individually, person to person, we didn't we didn't give up our secrets there. No, we we we're buddies and we're friends, but you know we're competitors at the end of the day. Everybody talks a lot about how good of of a, of a defensive coach Vic Fangio is, and you've played for some pretty good ones like Wade Phillips. I'm just curious as to what you think about Vic and what he's brought to you. Uh, you know, I really appreciate the coaching that, that Vic has brought um, to us. I've had a lot of great coaches here with the Denver Broncos, but. Uh, Coach, Coach Fangio, he's he's more than just a coach. He's a he's a teacher. He's a he's a um, he know how to teach you know grown men and get guys to really pick up the info and and um, the techniques that we're trying to learn. So whenever you got a good teacher, that's 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 where I feel like you that's where I feel like you excel because you got a lot of young guys that think they know football, but they haven't played in the National Football League. And Coach Fangio, he makes sure he makes sure to round all those edges off and he makes sure to get the teaching in first before we get to the technique. What have you seen from uh, Bradley Chubb? Uh, going from year one to year two, I brother Chubb, he's a totally different player. Uh, he, he's uh, gonna have a huge jump, just like you know, just like all big time pass rushers or big time rookies. You know, um, whenever they come in, like Khalil Mack, he had a huge year going one to two. Joey Bosa, you know, he was hurt most of the time, but most of these defensive guys when they come in, they have okay years. The, the first year, then they make a huge jump going to year one and two. And I see the same thing working with Chubb. He, he's done a, he's done a lot this offseason to get better. Um, on the field, off the field, he's going to be a totally different player. He's just going to be wearing the same number. With the with, with you guys having a new coach and a new quarterback, and the Raiders totally changing over their personnel, is this almost like two new teams going at each other? Yeah, yeah, it's two new teams, and uh, I don't know how many. Uh, I might be lying when I say this, but I think they got 18 new starters out of you know 22 starting positions. They got eight, they got 18 new starters, and they did it for the better. You know, they saved a lot of money getting uh, letting uh, Khalil and Amari go and. They are reaping the benefits, you know, from having all that money and having all those draft picks. They got four, you know, good rookies in there. Um, they've drafted four good rookies. Um, they got Trent Brown, one of the best right tackles in the league. Colton is going to be a whole lot better on the left side. Um, they got a really talented running back, and you know, Derek Carr. We all we already know how Derek Carr is when you can protect him. He can go through the reads, and he feels comfortable back there. He's one of the best quarterbacks in the league if he can do that. And from the outside, everybody looks at. Uh... At Antonio Brown, he's in the news all the time for one thing or another. But how do players view him, and what does he do for this team? Oh, that's my guy. I love, I love Antonio. You know him and AB, you know, and Derek. You know, I love those guys, man. You know, I love being around them. I love being Antonio off the field. Um, you know, he's been a star receiver for since day one, since he came into the league. Returning punts, he was a star, and he took off year two. So, you know, um, I think it's just bone off proportion. We all know how these receivers get. It's, it's, you can, it's not just, you know, the Oakland Raiders. It's, you know, big-time receivers all across the league, you know, they have the media follow them, and I think a lot of stuff gets blown out of proportion, you know. But uh, he, he's a star. He, he's a star. And um, no matter what the media, you know, tries to say, whether it's Hellman or whatever it may be, when he steps on the football field, he's ready to go, and we all know that. Vaughn, the, uh, the Raiders had that big season three years ago, and obviously they've struggled a little more since. And Derek Carr has – like at least statistically has sort of followed that pattern too. Did, was he any different as a quarterback last year and the year before as he was during that big season three years ago? You know, you know like I said before, you know, Derek Carr, he, he's a great quarterback when you can protect. When you can protect, um, he's super smart. He's going to find an open guy quick. 
you know, it's not going to take him a, you know, a little bit to, you know, get to that read. He's going to do that quick. He's going to put the offense in a in a in a great position to run the ball, pass the ball. He's a, he's the leader of man. He's a great he's a great quarterback over there. And um, I think with a new offense, new offensive lineman, you know, three years ago when he had uh, all that success, they had six huge offensive linemen. They were getting these big packages and you know, run the ball and pass the ball out of there, and they would just do damage. And that's when um. You know, Derek had one of his best years before he broke his leg late in the season. They probably would have went deeper in the playoffs if he wouldn't have broke his leg as well. So, you know, he's a, he's a great quarterback, and if you put a great team around him, he's going to be great as well. And that's what that's exactly what the Raiders did. They got great players all around. One more, uh, one more Trent Brown question. I think uh, earlier this offseason you joked that he wasn't going to be invited back to your pass rush camp. What was what was the story? What was the story there? No, no, I was just joking. You know, that was that was for the media. You know, that's my guy. <laughs> you know, if he wants to, if he wants to come back, you know, I got him. But, you know, they had well, I had the pass rush summit for the pass rushers, and he came to that. You know, he came uh, two years ago too when I had the very first one. He's been the all. He's been the only offensive lineman there throughout these three years that I've had it. Like I told you, that's my guy. You know, one of my favorite offensive linemen. I, I like having him there, and um, you know, I was just joking because I saw him. I saw him come to our pass rush summit, and then like. Three weeks later, he was at the offensive masterminds, or whatever, whatever the shit they call it. <laughs> he was there, and um, you know, I was just, I just made a joke out of, you know, he's, all, he's always welcome, you know, to pass for something. That's my guy. Okay. All right, thanks for your time, Vaughn. Thank you, thank you, Vaughn. All right, thank you guys. Appreciate it. Thank you.